This morning we're going to cover how to back up with MongoDump. If you've read the, the manual on MongoDB, you'll know there are several different options, and I'm going to just demonstrate the, the MongoDump. They have one that I, for the like of me, can't remember that they, that they use, um, which is kind of a, a better interface or whatnot. So we have that open. Uh, let's see, that was the wrong window. So I'm from the command line. When ex, uh, executing MongoDump, you will want to be where Mongo dump is going to be located, which will probably be in either Mongo or uh, the Mongod folder. So this folder, more than likely, it depends on your environment and where everything is at. Uh, so that's where this is at in this uh, situation. But wherever it's at, that's where you're going to um, you're going to be at. So I'm going to call Mongo dump, and I want to back up the database SQL in six. I don't want to back up everything. So I'm going to go ahead and call that, and you will see that what it does, which is really cool, is it creates a folder dump, and in that folder it has SQL in 6. And in SQL in 6, you will see BSON data and JSON. And you can, you can look through these files, but in general, these are going to be your structure, and these are going to be your actual data files, even though um, you probably won't be able to see these in uh, Notepad without it giving you some fuzzies. Now let's go ahead and delete this folder and let's show you what happens when we just call uh, mongo dump. Okay, so now let's go back to our folder and you will see that what it did is it backed up all of the databases. Okay, so this is pretty cool stuff. Um, if you want to back up all of the databases, that's what you call it. You don't have to like loop through each database. And um, but if you wanted to back up a specific database, you would pass in that parameter. So that's how to to back up with MongoDump. That is um, one other thing too as well. This is kind of self-explanatory, especially for people who worked in SQL Server. But remember that your your actual database MongoD needs to be running. Um, I know that sounds pretty straightforward, uh, but if someone's brand new to something, they may be like, "Why is it not working? Well, is MongoD running? No, it's not. It's kind of like backing up SQL Server." Um, if you don't have SQL Server running. Try to connect to SQL Server and backup databases when it's not running. Good luck. That's going to be pretty, pretty hard to do. So anyway, make sure that your uh, your data, your your instance server is running, that is, and then you can call it and play around with it. And look at those files. They're pretty interesting to, to take a peek at and see the structure of how it backs up. 